Hello guys, old Scott Tucky here, Billy. How you guys doing? I'm fixing to go down an avenue that I've never went down before. I'm going to start getting into shot shell reloading. I've been reloading metallic cartridges probably off and on. I took a little spell there and I had my kids in the 80s that I didn't. But I started in 81, maybe 1980 with an RCBS rock chucker. And I've been reloading ever since. Uh, you know... Just metallic cartridges, rifles, and pistol. Um, shotguns, I thought I'd get a kick out of reloading what I'm getting to. is just the, uh, it's, it's relaxing time for me. It's like what I used to get when I used to go play golf. Uh, it's just me and doing what I'm doing. I'm not thinking about nothing else, just doing this. And it's kind of relaxing in my time to get away from everything. And the point being is that it's really surprised me on shot shells how many different damn things there are. At first, I was just thinking, because I never was a big shotgunner. Young, uh, with Dad, squirrel hunting, he used 22 rifle. We didn't do much rabbit hunting because Daddy got rid of the dogs time I come along. Coon hunting, we took a rifle. Uh, groundhogs with 22 Magnum. Uh, or 243, depending on how far it was out there. You know what I'm saying? I just never was much of a shotgun person. Besides just buying some damn seven and a half shot or slug once in a while, because we've always been able to use a rifle for deer hunting here in Kentucky, so I never used a slug for hunting. Um, but I started thinking about getting into shotgun loading just for fun, and I got digging up some different things that I got, and I'm like, this is just a small sample of different things I got. I'm like, holy crap. I didn't realize what I'm getting into, and it's going to be fun. Uh, I got two manuals coming. I got a press order that's coming. I got get wads. I got some shot coming. Uh, I got powder. I'm going to start out using some clays. I got 16 pounds of clays, so I'm going to start out with clays. But I got a what's so odd, which you guys that are shotgun guys probably know, which I didn't. To use clays, I got to get the right kind of wad, uh, the so forth shot. You know, it's not just getting a load thing and fixing it up like you do in metallic cartridges and running with it. I mean, you got to use specific uh, powders. But this stuff takes so much place on what the wads are and how much your shot is and how much volume you got. You got to have shot cards and whatever the hell that is. It just blows my mind how cool it is. Uh, and just a difference, I'll start over here at the end over here, which is probably not on camera, and I hope it shows up. This is just some Federal Dub and Game. Then I think just seven half shot light loads. But it's got an eight point. I know some of them got different cramps. You got an eight cramp, and you got a six-sided cramp, which is cool. This is just a light load. Uh, I never did understand about the dram crap and all that. I understand grains and ounces and stuff, you know. But then you got a damn... Here's a wolf. This is a, I like to shoot this load. This is a nine double out buck. Uh, hell, I don't even think they even say how many feet per second this is. I might shoot some through a chronograph. If I can see the wadding in there, but then this has got an eight sided crimp, which is cool. But then you got some, uh, I got some fetter up here, which is number five shot. A little bit different size shot, different size BBs. And, uh, this is two and three quarter. I don't even know if they got the feet per second on this one under here. A lot of them to do, a lot of them they don't. Uh, no, I don't have no info on this one right here. I had never shot none of that yet. Uh, I got different double lock buck. Here's a Fiocchi. I then lost the box. I don't have much as I like. This is high velocity. This is 1300 and something feet per second, I'm thinking. Yeah, 13, 1330. One and a quarter ounces of shot, seven and a half. That's a kicking load right there. That's pretty cool. I got this cellar and bellet. This is, I think, in a, not shot none of this yet. This is a double lot buck. Yeah, it's a double lot buck. I hope it shows up in the thing here, guys. I'm sitting down. My phone's way above me. This is nine pellets. And I cool how those stock in are like that. And I, I don't know what the hell that black thing is. Some of you guys can tell me what the hell that thing is there. It's part of the wad, maybe, I guess. I don't know. It just intrigues me what there is of these things. Then, of course, you got your slugs. This is a Federal True Ball. This is a low recoil slug. 1,300 feet per second, which for a slug it is. 
And I don't know how to do this roll crimp. My press I got has just got the regular eight sided or six. Because here's one here, this Pioki, if you can see, guys. Hope it's showing up there, damn it. Uh, six there. And then some of these others, say like uh, this one over here, that's an eight sided crimp, which I thought was cool, you know. Uh, got different slugs. Here's a Ranger rifle slug I got. It's in two and three quarter. About 1,200 feet per second. A little lower recoiling. Here's a Winchester Defender. I can't believe how much of this, but you can do all this crap, guys. What freaks me out. This has got a one ounce rifle slug and three double lot buck pellets. This is my home defense load here beside my double lot buck. I like this. That's why this is what's in my Mossberg for my home defense. Thump somebody right square in the ass with that. That's pretty cool. 1150 feet per second. Then you go down, you got your mini shells. I, you know, just of course, I can't load these on the press. They're two and three quarter or three inch. But these mini shells are so cool. Here are just some shot shells. 1200 feet per second, seven and a half, five eighths of an ounce. You got some Aguila. Little slugs. I don't even know. Uh, these here are 1250 feet per second. I mean, it's just, and of course, here's this little federal one I got. Here it goes. I done lost a shot of all of them. Then I got over here is some, uh, here it is. This is a Willa 7 half shot. Little mini shells. And uh, these are running about uh, 1175 feet per second per Willa. But, guys, this shotgun stuff has really just got me kind of wound up. It's going to be cool. It's going to be a cool venture to go down. Uh, I didn't, I just thought it was just loading a damn shotgun shell. I didn't think about all this crap with wads and shot. A lot of you guys correct me right away. If any of you guys would load shotgun shells and give me some pointers on different loading. I mean, I got two books coming. I got some, I got a ballistic products manual coming. So I got like some of their products and I got a lineman book coming. They should be here next week. I just ordered the ballistic products manual. I'm going to get some wads from them. Uh, I'm trying to get some holes, whether it's Chedite or whatever the hell that word is, or I know they talk about Winchester, double-A holes. There's just so much different things besides just your metallic cartridges. It's just, it's really, really interesting. So if anybody is starting to go down this road, give me some pointers, guys. Uh, it's a hell of a road to go down. It's going to be fun. All right, guys. Well, he'll be loves you. God bless.